Good day, students. Let's look at some more problems and concepts related to series circuit. Problem 1.3. For the circuit shown in figure 1.8, note down figure 1.8, find the circuit current given that the supply voltage is 200 volts. So you can see that there are three resistors here, R140 ohms, R260 ohms, and R380 ohms. V is 200 volts, and you need to find the current through it. Let's solve this problem. R, that is the total resistance, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. You know that this is for series circuit. So R is equal to 40 plus 60 plus 80, which gives you 180 ohms. From Ohm's law, you know that I is equal to V by R, which is 200 divided by 180, which gives you 1.11 amps. Hence, the current is 1.11 amps, and this is your answer. Voltage division between two resistors. Let us consider the circuit of figure 1.9 which deals with the division of voltage between two resistors, that is only two resistors connected in series. So this is a special case of where there are only two voltages, that is there are only two resistors connected in series. Given the supply voltage V, we need to find the voltage drop across the resistor R1. Have a look at the circuit and you'll get a better idea. You see that there are two resistors, R1 and R2. Because they're in series, they have different voltage drops, that is V1 and V2. And the total voltage is given as V. The current is I. Note down the figure. The total resistance of the circuit is, again, series circuit, R is equal to R1 plus R2. Hence, the current in the circuit is by Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R. So here R is R1 plus R2. Therefore, I is equal to V divided by R1 plus R2. The voltage drop across the resistor R1 is I R1 is equal to, because we know that by Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. So the voltage is I R1 is equal to V divided by R1 plus R2, that is I, whole thing into R1, that is V1. We take that as V1. Rearranging the terms, we get V1 divided by V is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So you can use this to find the voltage drop across resistor R1. This can be rearranged further also as V1 is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 whole thing into V, any which way. Thus, figure 1.9 is a typical example of a voltage divider, remember this term, where the ratio of the voltages depends upon the ratio of the resistances in the case of a simple series circuit. Problem 1.4. In the voltage divider of figure 1.10, given that V is equal to 50 volts and the voltage across R2, which is 100 ohms, is 20 volts, calculate the value of R1. Note down the figure. V is 50 volts. R1 we have to find. R2 is 100 ohms and V2 is 20 volts. We just learned this formula, V1 by V or V2 by V. Since we have to find out R1 and we know V2, we'll use it for V2. V2 by V is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2. That's the ratio of the resistances. Therefore, 20 divided by 50 is equal to 100 divided by R1 plus 100. Let's rearrange it in a way that we can get R1. So by transposing appropriately, we get R1 plus 100 is equal to 2.5 into 100. Therefore, R1 equals 250 minus 100 and R1 is 150 ohm 
that is your answer this completes this session in the next session parallel circuits will be discussed